Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be learning how to lift a car onto all four jack stands so the car is completely lifted off the ground. Now for legal reasons I'm probably supposed to say something like be safe or don't be dumb but since I'm not a lawyer I'm just going to say uh, you should never do this because you could die and I'll hope that covers my bases. If you're not sure about what you're doing it's better to pay a professional and live than to save some money and die. Well this is getting a bit dark so let's dive into the procedure. To start, make sure the car is on level ground. Apply the parking brake and place wheel chocks to ensure the car doesn't roll. Lock the rear wheels when lifting the front and block the front wheels when lifting the rear. Next you'll need to locate the jacking points. Some cars will have one at the front and one in the back. If they don't, nearly all cars will have jacking points behind each of the front wheels and in front of each of the rear wheels. You can refer to your owner's manual to locate the jacking points. First we're going to lift the front of the car onto jack stands. If you have a front jacking point, use this. If not, you can use the rear jacking points on the side of the car and slide a jack stand under each of the sides of the front of the car once it's high enough. This will require jacking both sides of the car to get both front jack stands underneath. Place jack stands underneath each of the jacking points on the sides up front and lower the car down onto the jack stands. Remember, you may not want to jack the car to the full desired height. I will start at the lowest jack setting because I still need to be able to access the rear jacking point and I also don't want to have the jack stands tip over. Now bring the floor jack to the rear of the car and lift it via the rear jacking point. In this case we're lifting by the rear differential. Oftentimes you can find a tow hook which can also serve as a jacking point. It's a good idea to throw a shop rag on top of the jack to ensure that you don't scratch up the differential casing. Lift up the rear of the car. Place the jack stands underneath and lower the car down onto them. Ideally you want all of the jack stands at the same height so that the car is level. If you need to raise the vehicle further, do so by incrementally lifting the front and rear to your desired lift height. You simply want to be careful to ensure that the car doesn't cause the jack stands to tip over. Once you've got the car level and all the jack stands adjusted appropriately, give the car a bit of a shake to make sure it's safe to get underneath. Since I'm paranoid and also enjoy living, I like to place wood blocks underneath each of the wheels as an extra precaution. Now this obviously isn't necessary if you plan on removing the wheels, and in that case you typically will want to slightly loosen the lug nuts before lifting the vehicle unless you have an impact wrench available to use. So that's pretty much it. Now you've got great access to underneath your car whether you need to work on the engine, transmission, exhaust, differential, or whatever it may be. I will include links to tools and products used in the video description. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.